All right, guys, we're on a circuit number three now. So this is a really cool circuit. These exercises are off the cuff, off the beaten path. You're not gonna find these anywhere else, but I found these to be very applicable to the sports environment, and it's a really good conditioning tool to use all these, um, just in general, regardless of whether you play sports or not. Just a quick disclaimer, make sure you can handle these exercises, because if you can't, they will put a lot of pressure on your lower back if you cannot attenuate the forces properly and use the muscles in the proper chains. So just be careful. All right, so the first exercise is going to be the clean squat to push toss. This is gonna be a little different though than a normal clean to squat. You're gonna clean the bag, and once you get here to the point where you would normally shrug, you're gonna let go of it, and then the hands are gonna go underneath the bag. The bag will get its own air time at that point. You catch the bag underneath like this with the palms, go directly into the squat, and then explosively pass and go to the other side and repeat. So this is what it looks like in full, in full uh, real time, full speed. Okay, as you can see, that's obviously a lot harder than a normal clean to squat. Moving on, we're gonna go into the alternating swings. So for this, think of it like a kettlebell. So normally when you have a kettlebell, you've got a triangle formed. So the center of the bell would be the top of an equilateral triangle, for those of you who paid attention in math class. And uh, I wasn't one of them, so don't worry if you weren't. <laughs> You're gonna have the bag basically oriented a little bit in front of the body. So the middle of the bag is not going to be between the feet. It's going to be the edge of the bag that's between the feet. So both hands on the handles like so. You're gonna pull back, pulling with the lat, explosively come up, just like you're doing a kettlebell swing. Swing back, and then you're gonna alternate. All right, and then the last exercise is gonna be the supine crunch, or uh, rather, chest press to crunch in one motion. So, you're gonna have the hands underneath the bag, like so. Remember, not holding by the handles, under the bag. Scooch forward, make sure I'm in the camera. Make sure you don't drive this on your face, that wouldn't be good either. So, bag starts down below, pushing, crunching. Get full range of motion here, as much trunk flexion as possible to contract the, re the rectus abdominis, the six pack abs. Inhale back down, and then repeat. All right, so that's that. Now I'll go ahead and show you the circuit, what it looks like in full motion.